Capitalism does a number of things very well, it helps create an entrepreneurial spirit, it gets people motivated to come up with new ideas, and that's a good thing. You have to be very brave and very entrepreneurial, you have to dare to create your own brand. Under Hitler it was the entrepreneurial and professional classes who were the first victims of Nazi boycotts and exclusion. Today it is Israel, the most powerful symbol of Jewish national resurgence in two millennia. It horrifies me how much it costs to put on shows now, mainly due to EU regulations. The freedom to be entrepreneurial is no longer there. It's a massive business now. Entrepreneurial profit is the expression of the value of what the entrepreneur contributes to production. I don't think a lot of people have been entrepreneurial about venture capital. Our region's economy was built upon their entrepreneurial spirit, and our economy still depends on the continued success of the enterprises they have worked so hard to create. About half my work in education is U.S. political reform around school districts and charter schools, and creating more room for entrepreneurial organizations to develop. And about half on technology, which I look at as a global platform. I call crony capitalism, where you take money from successful small businesses, spend it in Washington on favored industries, on favored individuals, picking winners and losers in the economy. That's not pro-growth economics. That's not entrepreneurial economics. That's not helping small businesses. That's cronyism, that's corporate welfare. Most entrepreneurs are merely technicians with an entrepreneurial seizure. Most entrepreneurs fail because you are working I in your business rather than on your business. While still working for others, your goal at some point must be to carve out little areas that you can operate on your own, cultivating entrepreneurial skills. If we didn't have the Albanian entrepreneurial spirit and financial support from the diaspora, this stupid political class would have destroyed the country by now. When I was in the private sector, one characteristic that differentiated the best entrepreneurs from the others was that they were not in it for the stock options, but for a mission, to deliver something that was helpful. Every entrepreneurial journey, it turns out, is like this. After working for 14 years on Wall Street and growing up in a family with strong roots in small business, I know how important the entrepreneurial spirit is to attaining the American dream. That's the way it is with entrepreneurial people. You try one thing, it doesn't work, you try another. In the late spring of 2008, my wealthy entrepreneurial husband, Elon Musk, the father of my five young sons, filed for divorce. Six weeks later, he texted me to say he was engaged to a gorgeous British actress in her early 20s who had moved to Los Angeles to be with him. The desire to do different things was the main motivator that made me leave late night because I'd been there seven years. The combination of an entrepreneurial desire to see how far I could push my success and a short attention span. But now I've done other things. And I'm sort of ready to sit somewhere and sit in the same place for a while. Let me say that I think the economic history of the last 150 years clearly shows that if you want to industrialize a country in a short period, let us say 20 years, and you don't have a well-developed private sector, entrepreneurial class, then central planning is important. As we celebrate International Women's Day, it's not enough to applaud the contributions of women worldwide. We should also recognize and celebrate the opportunities and financial independence women enjoy because of entrepreneurial capitalism. Jeremy Stoppelman started Yelp. Max Levchin started Slide. I started LinkedIn. It was a mini-nova explosion of folks jumping out to doing other entrepreneurial activities. The entrepreneurial life is one of challenge, work, dedication, perseverance, exhilaration, agony, accomplishment, failure, sacrifice, control, powerlessness, but ultimately, extraordinary satisfaction. The American economy has always been driven by the entrepreneurial nature of its citizens, and blocking access to affordable health care will only suffocate growth within the small business sector of our economy. I want to see Texas remain an entrepreneurial powerhouse in the United States. Fighting for free enterprise means standing up for free markets. The freedom to succeed includes the freedom to fail. We must defend entrepreneurial capitalism against the onslaught of the American left. There are a number of traits that combine to create entrepreneurial potential. We find that openness coordinates very well with successful entrepreneurs. The more open-minded you are, the more you see the world as it actually is. The more closed-minded, the more you see the world as you want it to be. I just have this sort of entrepreneurial spirit and I work really hard at promoting myself. Let's all strive to be more entrepreneurial, 
and I think we'll all be in a better place. I like entrepreneurial people, I like people who take risks. Frankly speaking, I decided to become a businessman at the moment when I understood that it is possible, because I grew up in a country where it was not possible. There existed even a special article in the penal code of the Soviet Union which punished entrepreneurial activity. Most entrepreneurial ideas will sound crazy, stupid and uneconomic, and then they'll turn out to be right. My dog wants the entrepreneurial community to know how thankful she is for the fact that she gets to go out. She has heard more pitches than probably much of the world. Take your message of equality of achievement, take your message of economic dependency, take your message of enslaving the entrepreneurial will and spirit of the American people somewhere else. I have reviewed literally hundreds of dot-coms in my drive to bring Boomer Esiason Foundation onto the internet, and have selected ClickThings as a partner because of the advanced technology it offers small business, and its understanding of the entrepreneurial spirit of the small business community. I don't come from a very ambitious family. We weren't entrepreneurial. We weren't hard-working academics, or setting up businesses. But for some reason, when I started doing fitness, I always had this voice in my head telling me to keep going, keep going, and people will eventually follow. There were some entrepreneurial DuPonts that are a little different from the heads of the corporations today. Being educated in the United States gave me a good understanding of American culture. I think I got a lot of influence from the entrepreneurial mind in the United States. If you look at the fact that the best chance we have for a good economy is the private sector, the government cannot create jobs. If the government could create jobs, then communism would have worked, but didn't work. So what we have to do is allow the private sector and the entrepreneurial spirit to lead us back to a job-filled recovery. Every small business will give you an entrepreneurial way of looking at things. I guarantee you that for every plant that closes, if you gave it to one small business person in that community, he or she would find a way to make it work. The small business attitude is you always find a way to make it work. Even the best data security systems can't protect private taxpayer information from entrepreneurial foreign businesses than can make huge profits selling U.S. taxpayer information. I think companies psych themselves out and say, now that we're public, we've got to get all stuffy. We've got to be a certain way, and the entrepreneurial spirit dies. What you got to keep alive is the intimacy, the energy, this crazed sense of purpose. It takes getting the right talent. It takes a lot of patience. It takes investment and passion and commitment and entrepreneurial spirit, and everyone in the organization must buy into that. When you run an entrepreneurial business, you have hurry sickness, you don't look back, you advance and consolidate. But it is such fun. Educationists should build the capacities of the spirit of inquiry, creativity, entrepreneurial and moral leadership among students and become their role model. Al-Qaeda has a kind of loose, almost entrepreneurial structure with lots of cells in various countries that are semi-independent. The entrepreneurial instinct is in you. You can't learn it, you can't buy it, you can't put it in a bottle. It's just there and it comes out. We are shifting from a managerial society to an entrepreneurial society. I'm not sure I really am an entrepreneur. I'm not much of a businessman. I know I'm not a marketing guy. I do have an entrepreneurial lineage, though. The aim of open government is to take advantage of the know-how and entrepreneurial spirit of those outside government institutions to work together with those inside government to solve problems. My dad was an entrepreneurial businessman, and maybe I got some of his ability. Most new jobs won't come from our biggest employers, they will come from our smallest. We've got to do everything we can to make entrepreneurial dreams a reality. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.